All right, and what we're going to do here is we're just going to, like I said, um, we're going to do some cleaning on the lenses, you know, take them out and, um, you know, uh, take out probably the uh, the light bulb holders, things like that. Maybe do, maybe do some cleaning on there, or we can save it for another time, but we'll see how it goes. So, like I said, first thing is um, we're going to take out the lenses, and like I said, you can just see a little bit of dust in them if I swipe my finger. Yeah, you see that? So you want to clean that off. So they, the lenses come out pretty easily, hopefully easily in this red light compartment with how used it is. All right, I stress on that enough, you get the idea. Uh, they come out simply by unscrewing these four flathead screws and um, then just uh, all things considered, the lens should just pop out and then we'll try to take the gasket off, see if we can clean it with um, cinch. I love cinch, it cleans things beautifully. We'll clean it with the cinch and then um, do the same thing with the other lenses, including the arrow lenses and we'll see where it goes from there. You can see some of the screws in the holders right there. But actually, um, for all these compartments, I'm sure the arrows will be the same too. Um, these screws came on no problem. As you can see, the lenses lift right out. So, actually, I, I did discover that. I think on these, I can actually try um, taking the gasket off from the front. Because if you see, it's still very pliable from the front on both the um, yellow and the green. So I could probably do it that way for those two. Um, however, as expected... Here's the red light lens. I tried to I tried to do the same thing for this one, and as you probably just saw, <laughs> yep, the gasket broke. <laughs> but I'm honestly not surprised because I mean, you know, like I said, with how hard this is and all the heat it was exposed to, that was bound to happen. So really, no loss there. So if 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 these other four do come off easily enough, and maybe I will use one of those gaskets um, for the red light. I mean, it couldn't hurt. I I'm just I'm debating because I mean, the, the gaskets are good protection for the glass lens, but yeah, who knows? But we'll get to that when we get to that. All right, so what I'll do is let me um, take off these lenses and um, put them here on the, uh, top sp on the top spot, and we can uh, get them all cleaned up. Well, this is why I love Cinch, because as you can see, these lenses look pretty good, wouldn't you say? Definitely say it has a better, um, <clears throat> much cleaner look to them for sure without the gaskets. And here, I'll even lift up the, the red one, because that was the dirtiest one. But yeah, I mean, look at that. That that the, the cinch just took everything off. Even the black stuff that was on the back here, that took like minimal effort. These look really, really nice. So that's one start done, I guess you could say. Lenses are clean, including the arrows. Here, I'll get the yellow arrow. That that one was dusty, as you saw before. Yeah, look at that. That looks really, really nice. So that came out great. Uh, there is one thing I do want to show you here, though. I told you that the uh, the red light gasket was broken like this. Okay, well not only that, all right. Watch this. So here's the um, here's the gaskets from the green and yellow main. Okay. So like so like if you drop them on the floor, you know, kind of bouncy. You know, because they're still in decent shape. Okay. Now, here's the red light gasket. Okay. <laughs> and watch this. <laughs> you just see how that broke apart, and one of the pieces just went right over there, as you can see. Yeah, so I think it's safe to say that this gasket is definitely done. <laughs> so we'll see what we can do about, um, you know, we'll see what we can do about maybe getting new gaskets or moving one of the uh, other ones over to the red light. Not sure yet, but like you know, at some point we'll definitely we'll definitely get that part figured out. So I guess the next thing we can do for this is let's just take out. Uh, the lamp holders and just, you know, see how those look and everything. Okay, and here they are. So I figured um, one way I would um, kind of go along with this is maybe do like, you know, the red one and one of the, and the yellow one, just, you know, because of the difference of condition. But um, getting these light holders out really isn't hard at all. What you would do is um, open this compartment and I got to tell you, this is so much lighter with the, without the lens on it. <laughs> it's amazing how much of a difference that makes. So that'll rest there. Open this one up. And, uh, oh, you know, one thing I want to check is there is a gasket on here. You know what I'm saying? So, let me see how it is for the red light. This one's dirtier, as you can see. <laughs> and, oh, actually, no, you know what? This gasket's actually very pliable. Okay, this one did a little bit better than the one for the lens. All right, good. So that's good to know. So, basically, the way you take these off is um, you kind of notice that there's a spring right here, okay? And then what you do is you just kind of lift it up partially... Right, and I took the wires off the terminal block, as you can see. I'm going to save the terminal block, of course. They just kind of um, I'm going to try to do this while holding the camera. 
you just kind of push this, you know, this way against the spring tension. And maybe I can show it, let me see. That'd be a little tough to do. There's, oh, there we go. And then free from the pin and it just comes right out. And here is your light reflector, or light and reflector, I should say. <laughs> so that's basically how the um, light shines on there. And then as you can see, basically what we'll do is, you know, we'll set this aside. I'll just put it down here. And um, so what we'll do is, you know, we'll take uh, the lights out of the uh, compartments. And you can see uh, the inside here now. Oh, you know what, let's do the red one too, because of the difference of condition. Same thing here, just lift it up a little bit. Push it against the spring. There we go. And it comes out. I am actually happy that this gasket, and there must be grease or something on there. I have to clean that off. I guess the gasket or something uh, could be a different material, but yeah, this one's definitely dirtier. So, yeah, again, here's the, here's the difference. Here's the red compartment, and here's the yellow compartment. You can really see a difference because of the, uh, the heat from the lamp. And like I said, at some point, not now, I'm going to get off that mount, but I'm, I know that's going to be hard to do. That'll be a separate video in itself whenever I get to it. So, all right, so here they are. Let's, uh, I guess, take all these out. And here's all four, excuse me, five bulbs with the reflectors here on the mat. And really, they don't look too bad at all, honestly. Just a little bit of cleaning, and I think they should be all good. You know, and the red one has that grease, whatever it is there. I'll see if I can get that off with the cinch. This one wasn't color-coded quite as well compared to the other 8-inch light. Uh, you can see um, this is going in order from, you know, red to green and then yellow, green arrow. Um, but, like, the red light had a yellow arrow. Yellow's fine. Green was green. That's fine. But the yellow arrow had a red wire, and the green arrow had a yellow wire. Now, it is possible that was because... Um, this is the same order. The yellow main and the green arrow have the terminal block. So maybe, so maybe they um, did that just for color coding purposes, just so you know which was which. You know, maybe we'll figure that out when we can. So, and um, I don't know the bulb's replacement history, but you know, being that's the red light, that bulb probably has more wear in it than the other four because you know that that one was on the most because it was a side street. So I don't know if maybe I should put that bulb in a different light so it gets used less and move one of them to the red compartment. I don't know. That's just something I'm thinking of. You know, maybe some point in the future we can kind of figure that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, hopefully they all come out okay. I'm going to take the bulbs out, put them carefully in the box here, keep a good order so I know which one went where. And then we'll see about getting these reflectors off and giving them a cleaning. Well, actually, I had no problem getting those uh, bulbs out of there at all. That was actually pretty good. And I put them safely in the box on the rags right here. Uh, I did put them in order. It's, uh, you know, uh, red, yellow, green, yellow arrow, green arrow. So those will sit there for a while, and I know which one is which. So um, now the next thing I want to do is I want to get this reflection, re reflector plate, reflection plate, whatever, off this uh, holder. And now the, the spring clamp looks like it's designed a little bit differently from the, from the 8-inch light. The 8-inch light had little slots on the side where you could take the spring clamp off. But I think on this one, what I'm going to have to do here is, um, I'll just show one of them because it's all going to be the same process. If I lift the clamp off the socket here, I could probably get it to bend off the thing. Oh, yeah, just like that. And then, oh, look at that. That was rather simple. All right, here's the light bulb socket. And the spring clamp, maybe I can unclip it somehow. Um, yeah, like... I'll worry about that in a second. So then what I want to do is, after I get this clamp off, I'll take this reflection plate off. And, oh. Or, I could just do that. <laughs> that works. And then, yeah, this gasket actually looks okay. I'm, I'm rather happy to see that. So maybe I'll take the gasket off and, you know, clean the reflection plate. And, um, and the holder as well. I'll have to see how I did that. That was pretty funny. And then, um, I'll probably keep it apart for now because I want to sand that clamp at some point. So for now, we'll just clean these both with cinch and all of these, and, you know, we'll just see how they all come out. Should be real nice. And here's just a quick shot of, uh, of what I did here. So here's the reflection plate. It came out pretty good. There's a couple of spots here that were kind of hard to take stuff off, so maybe it's etched on or something. I'm not sure, but this is the red one. I did get that grease off, though, which is good. 
and clean the back as well. That gasket came right off and put and got put right back on, so it didn't break or anything. Very happy to see that. I did also clean um, part of the light bulb socket, and I cleaned the wires as well. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't too harsh on this, because you know if you bend these wires too much, it'll break off that soldered connection. And I don't, I don't want that to happen. And I cleaned off um, around here as well. I just did with a dry rag did the inside because you know I don't want to get that wet. So you know th this looks all good. So then obviously the thing you want to do now is uh, I will sand that clamp down the road but for now I'll just put it back together. I'll do the same with these other lamp holders here. So basically you just, I think what you kind of do is you just kind of put it on here and like, you know, get the lamp, get the uh, socket back on and just kind of, it just kind of fits on there. You see what I'm saying? So you, you, you gotta like put this in place, put the socket back on and then, you know, the clamp will go on one of these notches here and that's how you get it back in place. You, you gotta get this, you know, moved up here move the reflector back on the holder which I need two hands to do as you can see but you get the basic idea so let me go ahead and get this bed together and then clean the remaining four uh, holders right here okay and here they are all five light reflectors and holders all cleaned up they look really really nice and shiny as you can see and I have them in line with um, what light section they go to and uh, you know I guess I'll take up one of them we'll do the, the red one again yeah yeah, you can see it really um, really came out nice. Um, all the spring clamps are back in place, as you can see. There's these paper gaskets on a couple of them. They do feel pretty dried out, but, you know, um, and some of them have rubber, which feel a little bit better. But they got back on there, okay. You know, the the wires are clean, light bulb sockets are cleaned. I dry cleaned uh, the inside of the socket itself. And like I said, at some point, I'll just sand that rust off that clamp. But, you know, aside from that, because, like, you know, this isn't going to be exposed to weather anymore, so it shouldn't be a problem, really. And here's all the other ones as well. So basically, you know, here's the overshot uh, of the parts, I guess you could say. Um, let's see if I can get this to the wire. There we go. Okay. All right, so. So basically, this is the light bulb holders and reflectors. The black things are the reflector holders you saw. Here's the compartments, all five of them. The visors. Uh, the light bulbs. And... Uh, the lenses that don't have the gaskets on them, here's the five that they go to. The red, yellow, green, yellow, arrow, green, arrow. And, yeah, it's basically everything. And the wires that I'm going to um, later connect it to. So, uh, I have one last uh, thing here, guys, and then I guess we'll call this a video. So, as you know, I am going to repaint these sections. Now, again, I may have to wait a little bit because I'm sure if I'm going to do any sanding or paint stripping on these compartments, I probably got to bring them outside. You probably got to have good ventilation, you know, and things like that for sure. Maybe, maybe even a mask if there's like a lot of paint dust. Um, I don't think this is lead paint, but still, you know, you, you just want to be safe. So, you know, I'll probably do those outside when the time comes. Now, um, I guess I mentioned in this video, I have a question for you guys. Um... I could either repaint this light yellow, and I think someone told me the closest color color for it is school bus yellow, which is pretty close, honestly. Or I was thinking of maybe painting it black. You know, I'm really not sure. So I'm going between yellow or black. I mean, yellow would be the more original, of course, and but like black would be kind of more unique. I am kind of leaning towards yellow, to be honest, but you know, I want to see... I want to get your guys' opinions, you know, see what you think maybe the color of it should be. So, there you go. So, like I said, at some point, um, I'll bring these outside and, you know, sand them or do some paint stripping, and I'll get that mount off, like I said. That'll definitely take a while. But from what you can see, guys, we made a decent amount of progress so far for the early days. Uh, the reflectors and the holders are all cleaned. Um, light bulbs are safely away for now. And I cleaned all the lenses as well. Probably the worst case scenario, probably just need like a little bit of like, you know, light dusting or something by the time I'm all done. But I got the majority of the dirt off, and I mean, you know, I don't know if this rag is going to show it to you, but yeah, like, like, um, yeah, that's some dirty areas. Got a lot of stuff off, and here's all the holders for the lenses. All right, so there you go, guys. You know, see what you think maybe would be a cool color. Again, I'm leaning towards yellow, but, you know, I'm very, I am curious to see what you guys would think. So this is where we are for now, and at some point I'll get more of this light done. But I like the progress that we're making so far. Thank you very much for watching, and take care.